So, nasa ano ba tayo? Uh, yeah, Laokai Province. Baka. Dito sa district ng Baka. Baka. So again, Laokai Province, Baka District. Okay? Ang daming flag ng ano, Vietnam oh. Kita mo Kevin? Ang daming flag ng Vietnam ah. Mapulang-mapula dito ah. Ano? Wala bang hammer and sickle flag dyan? Well, by the way, ito yung hotel na tinutuluyan namin dito sa Baka. Ayan. Sao Mai Hotel. Ayos ba, Kevin? Ayos. Ang daming Vietnamese flag eh, oh. <laughs> raincoats, yeah. We need to buy raincoats. Yeah. Okay, it's a, it's a small store. <laughs> How much? Yes. She doesn't speak English. Okay. Thank you. Ah, uh, we'll just leave it there. No, 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 no. We take, we take them now. Okay, okay. Take them now. Okay. Okay. Plastic bag. Yes, yes, yes. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. What 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 is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? Oh yeah yeah the goatee. <laughs> Ho Chi Minh. Ho Chi Minh. Tata, ano si na sabi mo? Well, that's off the record, please. Ah, off the record. <laughs> yeah, we cannot discuss it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Well, it's about this. Actually, this place is a historical place. Uh -huh. This is where uh, the North Vietnamese Army based themselves during the American War. Uh -huh. And during those times, this place is the base where the army of the North Vietnamese prepared their war to accomplish their mission to help their uh, compatriots in the South to I liberate see. the South Vietnamese. I see. Yeah, and this place they suffered a lot. Believe me. Yeah. And the people here still realize the experience of those times. And I think still they could remember how it happened and how it will happen again. That's why they are very, very uh, meticulous and very, very uh, uh, memorable to not to forget those experiences. Yes. That's why they are very protective of their culture. Uh -huh. Even though they allow Americans and other uh, uh, foreign investors here, but they they do uh, a lot of uh, uh, measures so that their uh, culture their it's tradition preserved. will not be lost yes this is the good thing in this place very well said yeah ano yan, tatay? Ano? this is an aphrodisiac ano yan? it's a kind of uh, ginseng well preserved uh, ano to? tarzir? yeah no, I think so. Oh, bro. Ano, ba tayo? Yeah, you are. <laughs> Gusto mong uminom, Kevin? <laughs> you want to try it? The tradition here, this is free for all. Even the tea. Yes. You, have, you, you don't have to pay. Good. Subsidized by the government. <laughs> yeah, subsidized. Well? Or in a socialist country. Kaya pala active na active si Tatay Kevin. Kaya pala high na high. Ito ako. He likes it. No? Thank you so much. Hello. Sold? <laughs> come on, come sold on. Da, sold? This is a kind of tradition well preserved by this country where the traditional medicine is being subsidized by the oh. government for all to use without payment free even the tea is free long live socialism long live 
Long live socialism. Long live. Long live. Long, Long live. live socialism. Long live. We don't. You you cannot find a place like this where you could drink tea free. You could uh, uh, smoke herbal medicine free for all. Long live socialism. And the government allowed it. What see, what? These houses where you see they are close, very close enough. No. Uh huh. They are adjacent to each other. Uh huh. Why? During the Vietnamese War, they, there is opening so that from from those places that part to uh -huh. that part they could move inside the house uh -huh. and exited to at uh, the distant part i see so they are moving from houses to houses i see from house to house uh -huh. see the design of that house so the north vietnamese army i uh, used these houses yeah they used this house during the vietnam during war the vietnam war this one okay they used these houses those houses they used right it. So there, there is an opening there, right, to those places, so that they could move. They could exit and escape the enemy. What happened? He, he, he got an accident. Oh, yeah. okay. The motorcycle. It's okay. They have a universal health care here. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Everybody, everybody can go to the hospital for free. Yes. No charge. Yeah. And you look how they produce their food. Yes. They do not waste any space. That's good. You see? To produce their own food. Mm -hmm. <coughs> what? Ginseng. Oh, ginseng. Yeah. It's yeah. a local product. Uh-huh. You uh, mix it with wine. Uh-huh. And uh, have it stayed for maybe one or two months, and it's good for the body. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's one of the local industry that they are producing a long, long time ago. Ginseng, huh? Ginseng, this is ginseng. Public school, oh, Kevin. Ayan o, oh. hospital. O tara, lakad-lakad tayo. Tatay, ayun ka pala o. Oh. Si Ho Chi Minh o. Oh. O, oh. diba? Ayun ka o, oh. si Ho Chi Minh o. Oh. Ayan o. Oh. Diba ikaw yan? Hmm. Eh no, si Ho Chi Minh. Si Tatay yan eh. Ayos ba Kevin? Yes, ganda dito. <laughs> say it again, say it again. Ho Chi Minh is the founder of Free Vietnam. Liberated Vietnam. I want to talk to you. Hi, my, my name is Mark. I am from Los Angeles, California, USA. Okay. I live in California, in USA, United States. Yes. So, uh, why you come here? To visit. To meet people like you. To see your beautiful country uh, and to know more about your country. Uh, so yes. I want to ask you. <laughs> What's your name again? Uh, my name is Me. Me? Yes. My pleasure meeting you, Me. My name is Mark. Me, I want to ask you something. Okay. What do you know about USA? USA? Uh, what can you say about USA? 
uh, I think USA is a really uh, uh, nice country and it has a lot of different culture about China and uh, mm, something like that because uh, uh, the, the USA is a... It's okay, take your time. Uh, I don't know the means of words, but uh, it's a, a country who has a lot of people from different things and different places. You are very smart, that is true. People living in the United States came and come from different countries all over the world. Okay. USA is a melting pot of people. Like me, I'm from the Philippines oh. originally, but I live in the USA. So you I have been living in the USA for 19 years. Na 19? 19. That's a very long time, right? Quite. So you are very smart because you know that USA is a melting pot of people who came from different parts of the world. You are very smart. Thank you. And you are in school? Yes. Are you in high school? No, I am in the second uh, secondary school. Oh, very young and very smart. Thank you. You are the future of this country, of this beautiful country. <laughs> I think so. But of course you are. There are a lot of people like me. It's not me. Just me. Uh, my friends uh, speak English with five goes too. Do you want to talk to them? Uh huh. So one last question, me. Okay. If given a chance, <coughs> would you like to live in the United States or here in Vietnam? Uh, I would like to live. Uh, I would like to live in the United States. I see. Why? Because I think it's a uh, modern country, and I really want to see some co different culture. Right. Except Vietnam. Do you think there's more opportunity in the United States than in Vietnam? Excuse me, what? Do you think there's more economic opportunity in the United States? Uh, Do you think if you will work the, after uh, you finish school, after work. college, uh, when it, you start working? Uh, Do you think you will make more money in the USA than in Vietnam? Uh, I, uh, it's the uh, oath of me. Because it's up to me. Because it's up to you, that's right. Uh, because I think Vietnam is a good country too. Uh -huh. and, uh, I can make a lot of money even in Vietnam. Very smart. That's a very good answer. It's really up to you. Wherever you live, it's really up to you. Okay. It's all about how, how smart you are and how diligent you are as a person. It's all about perseverance. And I truly believe that you will become successful in your life. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time. And thank you so much for answering my questions, me. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, just wandering. Wandering in the streets of Bakha. <laughs> Ang daming flags ano Kevin Talagang ano ah Feel na feel mo yung ano, nationalism. nationalism In this place You can feel the sense of nationalism proud Right? Na proud sila sa bansa nila Yes, sa they, are, they are proud of their country The sense and the air of nationalism Is well alive in this place I know. Hammer and sickle. Government building. Uh huh. Oh, let's go. Okay.
Kevin, sit down, Kevin. <laughs> sit down. <laughs> Kitchen. Yes. 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 That's you must the take the photo of the kitchen. Yes. Yes. I will. That's where they prepare the food. Yes. Salud, salud, salud. Toast, toast. Very good. Very good. His most close advisors in this place. In this kitchen. In this kitchen. Okay. Where they took only tea and some soup and some herbs. Yes. So this place is very short historical kitchen. I just don't know if this new generation now knows about it. I don't think so. Most probably. But they should, right? They should. They should. They, they should. should. Their history. history must be preserved. Absolutely, yeah. And must must be taught to the younger generation. Yeah. Correct? Yeah, that's correct. Thank you so much, Roman, for the history lesson. Thank you so much.
They sell puppies. They sell dogs. Puppies. They sell pigs. They sell pigs too. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a big pig. Inside a inside a backpack. Right, right, right. The back. So this is the spot where they sell puppies or dogs. Cute dogs.